there are currently 45 members of the audit department. That's currently split between 10 managers. We have a mix of qualified members of staff and current trainees of varying levels. So we have quite, quite a broad mix. In terms of the type of clients, we do try to give our managers a broad mix and a, and a range so that they're not pigeonholed into a particular sector or a particular type of client. As much as possible, we do sort of factor in their interests and previous history. So I guess the, the short answer is you'd be, you'd be looking at a, a wide variety and a range of, of different clients and different types of clients. It relies on relies on the individual and how much they want to do it. You know, for an example, if you had a particular interest in retail clients, as much as possible, we would look to get you in the right spaces, get you in the right meetings and meeting the right people to help you develop a network and also, you know, as much as possible, bring in clients if that's what you're interested in. That would be very much up to the manager's discretion, really, and how they'd like to run and manage their list so you know if you're the type of person that likes to go out and be an active you know reviewer and get client facing time then then that's up to you as much as possible our audit managers actually do work across the firm if there are special projects that kind of come out of the woodwork where clients need particular advisory um, pieces or they need some some advice on on a particular piece our audit managers in general would be the ones that would kind of lead that so you know we would support them through courses through time with the partners and the relevant people and and mainly through involvement in the work as much as possible because that's where they're really going to learn and I guess the important thing I should mention there is that they'll always have the support and backing of the partner. So we wouldn't expect anyone to kind of go in cold on, on an area that they haven't worked on before or they've expressed they need development in. So I think as much as possible, the partners would always support that development because we really care about our people and, and you know, we want them to kind of succeed and, and grow. All the partners have an open door policy, so I guess what that means is they'll always be open to speaking to you, whether you're someone that's you know a school leaver or a manager, you know at any level. I think that's something that I can attest to across the board at the firm that everyone is very approachable. I think if you need support and you need help, that's one thing that the partners would would definitely give you. I think really I'm, I'm probably a, a prime example of someone who's gone through the ranks, through the management ranks and up to partner fairly recently. So in terms of career progression, I, I can't say it follows any one route or there's any one answer, but I think the, the thing that I do want to say is anyone that, that shows the aptitude, the desire and, and motivation to progress through the ranks, then, then they'll always be supported by everyone in the firm.